Hello and welcome to an overview of what exactly you have to complete for your Scratch assignment for TazMcCarthy.com. After you've done the other tutorials and watched the other videos on the site, you might like to start making your game. But there are a number of requirements that you have to have. The first of those is that you have three inputs. All an input is is something that a user clicks or presses on the keyboard or anything else like that to make something happen. For most people, having when green flag is clicked, which is going to start off their game, that's going to be one input. Other inputs you might have are things like making certain keys do different things. So here we'll set up when D is pressed to play the sound meow. That's another input because the user has input a keyboard button to make something happen. Another type you might have is when something is clicked. So when the user clicks the cat, something happens. That's another input. A couple of other types you might have. You might have them ask a question where the user has to put in an answer. So this is covered in another video. But in this very simple example, when we click the cat, we'll ask what the name is and then say whatever we typed in for two seconds. So as we're typing in our answer, that's us inputting something. That's another type of input. Other things you might like to have are perhaps something where you control a character by the mouse, not just clicking, by the mouse moving around. So a really quick example of that, when the game starts forever, set X to under sensing mouse X. So we'll test that and that makes it move with the mouse. That's another type of input because we're inputting our mouse movement for our character. There's one other type that I can think of and that comes under sensing loudness. So you can measure the loudness of something and as you talk you can see that it spikes up you might have you can see loudness goes from 0 to 100 so you might have an input where if the loudness is over 50 you might say whatever you want to happen but for this example we'll say you are hurting my ears. And we'll set that up so it happens. It keeps on checking over and over. So the game starts. You can see our loudness is changing, but as soon as we say something really loud, it comes up saying you're hurting my ears. That's another input, this time from voice. So that's the first thing you need to have. Three different types of inputs. Another thing you need to have is any type of sound. You can use the ones built into Scratch. You can download a song and put it in by going to sounds and then importing and clicking where you've saved it on the hard drive. You can also record your own sounds. It's up to you. Any type of sound is fine. Another thing you have to have is you have to have some sort of animation using costumes or background changes. If you do the basic Scratch tutorial, you'll see that you can get it to change between different costumes and we use that in our tutorial to make it look like the cat is walking so anything like that you might also have it where you've got different stages so for instance if we were to import some different types of ones of these And then we use a command from looks to get it to switch between the backgrounds. That also counts as a costume change, a type of animation. You might have that for different levels that switches to different backgrounds. As long as you have at least one background or one character that switches between costumes or backgrounds, then you've done that part of the assignment right. The next thing you have to have is out of all of your graphics and characters and backgrounds, you have to have at least one thing, doesn't have to be a whole character, but at least one thing that you've painted within Scratch like this. And you also have to have at least one thing that you've imported from outside the program. 
So we covered that in another video, but if you save a picture and then go to import, you can find where you've saved it. For instance, you might have saved it on the desktop. And you click your picture and it goes into Scratch. So there are four things that you have to have for your project. Whether you do a game or a movie is completely up to you, as long as it has three inputs, some type of sound, something you've painted in Scratch, something you've imported from Scratch, and some sort of animation from changing costumes or backgrounds. If you can check off each of those, you've done the minimum required, but you're still encouraged to push yourself as far as you can. So good luck.